Alright everybody, I'm going to start my, uh, my mash. Um, before I go any further, you should know I don't know what I'm doing. I've never done this before. Um, I've only seen this stuff done on like uh, YouTube videos and other stuff that I've read on the internet. Um, so this is an experiment for me. Uh, what I've got here is <clears throat> 10 pounds of sugar, 10 pounds of uh, cornmeal. I'm going to try and make 10 gallons of mash. I'm going to make it in this uh, trash can. Clean, I just bought it. Um, while that's boiling, I'm going to go ahead and uh, dump this stuff in there. It's cornmeal. Now, um, I'm making 10 gallons of this mash, and from what I have gleaned from the internet, uh, you can expect about a tenth of your mash to turn into ethanol. So, that means I'll be getting a gallon of ethanol. And so far, it's not cost effective. I spent $4.50 on sugar and $1.75 a piece for those two five pound things of cornmeal. So that's uh, about seven fifty so far, seven fifty a gallon. Not cost effective. I would assume that in order for this to be cost effective you would have to grow your own corn, grind it in your cornmeal, grow your grow your own sugar. Um, the yeast was pretty cheap. For like cents or something like that. These. stuff's not boiling yet, but it looks pretty well dissolved. Sugar looks dissolved in there, so I'm just going to call that good and dump it in there. Okay, so this is what I did. I put a plastic bag over it. The plastic bag was pretty tight fitting already. I went ahead and just threw some uh, some of these long rubber bands over it and uh, pushed push it down under the surface because I suppose there's not supposed to be any oxygen in there. There's a little bit there. I'll try squeezing the rest of that out actually. Here's my mash after about four hours. It's uh inflated and you can hear it. I'm hoping that the uh, gas will just like come out from under these rubber bands rather than blowing up the balloon and hopefully that'll just let it out and no air in.